Hi guys, good evening. How are you? At this time, we are discussing about what this one is the surprise for you. Now we are discussing about the chemistry, and this one is for class tenth ICC. Or this one is the second video of this day. I am already. Made a video physics in the morning. That was course, and here we are studying periodic table, periodic properties, and variation of properties. If students know already about the periodic table, how this one periodic table is formed? What is Mendeleev's periodic law. What is modern periodic law? So this one is after these laws. If you should know about the modern periodic law, Mendeleev's periodic law, in that case, we study this one. And here we are discussing the properties of the elements. So first of all, we'll meet periodic table. Dear student, you have already learned about thirty-five elements with the help of this periodic table. How is it possible? Because ICC syllabus is very advanced. That's why you have to learn this one. Now. Before discussing the properties, first of all, we will arrange the elements. This one is modern periodic table. This one is modern periodic table, and modern periodic law is when the elements are arranged in increasing order of atomic number, then. their physical and chemical properties are the periodic function of atomic numbers here this one is modern periodic law but this one is not in syllabus at this time because it was in ninth class but here first we arrange these elements here This one is hydrogen H. Here, this one helium. Lithium. Beryllium. Boron. Carbon. Nitrogen. Oxygen. Fluorine and this one neon. After this, sodium, magnesium, aluminium, silicon. Phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine, and here this argon. After this, potassium, calcium, scandium. Titanium, vanadium, chromium, manganese, iron, 
कोबाल्ट निकल कॉपर जिंक गैलियम जर्मीनियम आर्सेनिक सिलिनियम ब्रोमीन एंड हेयर क्रिप्टन एंड हेयर वी हैव क्रिप्टन जीनन रेडन एंड हेयर वी राइट आर्मी आर्मी रोटीनियम सीजियम एंड फ्रेंसियम क्लियर अबाउट दीज नंबर ऑफ एटम्स देर सिंबल्स एंड एटोमिक नंबर वी हैव टू लर्न एटोमिक नंबर ऑफ दिस वन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन अलेवन ट्वेल्व हेयर थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन सेवनटीन एटीन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी सिक्स ट्वेंटी सेवन ट्वेंटी एट ट्वेंटी नाइन थर्टी थर्टी वन थर्टी टू थर्टी थ्री थर्टी फोर थर्टी फाइव एंड हेयर थर्टी सिक्स वी हैव टू लर्न दिस बाय हेयर क्लियर हेयर द क्राइटेरिया ऑफ द प्यूरिटिक टेबल दिस वन इज बेस्ड ऑन इंक्रीजिंग ऑर्डर ऑफ एटोमिक नंबर क्लियर here this one is change in mendel's periodic table according to mendel's periodic table this one is first e clear this one is second e here this one first b and second b and this one third b this one fourth b this one Fifth B, this one, sixth B, this one, seventh B, this one, eighth. These two are eighth section because this one eight have three subgroup. This, this, and this. Now, this one is. third e third b fourth b fifth b sixth b and here seventh b clear it means according to mendel's periodic table first first group divided into two sub group first a and second a in same way second group divided in two sub group second a and second b in same way at that time there are eight groups and novel or inert gases were not discovered at that time 
clear here the structure of the periodic table there are 18 groups in this clear there are 18 groups groups these are vertical columns these vertical columns are called groups it means in modern periodic table there are 18 vertical columns and these are called groups here we have group clear vertical columns Vertical columns are called group. Clear? These are groups. We can write here this group. Groups. The vertical columns. Whereas horizontal rows. Whereas horizontal rows are called periods. Clear? In modern periodic table, there are seven periods. Clear? The structure of modern periodic table is this. Here, there are 18 groups and 7 periods. Groups are vertical columns. These vertical columns are groups and these horizontal columns are called periods. Clear? Here, this one first. This one first is shortest period shortest period clear and these two short periods second and third and four fifth these are long long and seventh six seventh are longest longest clear Longest. Clear? So this one is structure of the modern periodic table, which is modernization, which is uh, which which is change in based on middle periodic table, which is based on increasing order of mass number, whereas this one is based on Increasing order of atomic numbers. Clear? Now, generally we can divide this one in three sections. Generally, these elements be divided in three parts. It means periodic table in simple way divide in three sections. Metals non metals and metabolites here these are the metals here first second third fourth fifth fifth this one up to this this one portion these all are metals whereas boron silicon germanium arsenic these are metalloids and remaining are non metals here we have a table in your chemistry book because we have not three or four types of colors of markers that's why I would like to see you this one table here we have three class metals and here in brown color these are non metal uh, non metals and here in grease are metalloids clear but here we have study in another way like elements of first group these are alkali metals it means first one criteria of the classification of element metals non metals and metalloids clear and second one
एलिमेंट्स ऑफ फर्स्ट ग्रुप हेयर एलिमेंट्स ऑफ फर्स्ट ग्रुप आर कॉल्ड एल्किलीमीटर्स एल्किलीज एल्किलीज दीज आर एल्किली अर्थ मेटल अर्थ मेटल्स दीज आर ट्रांसन एलिमेंट ट्रांसन एलिमेंट and these are post transition element and here the last column is of noble gases these are noble or inert gases clear here we have transition element inner transition element and lanthanide actinide series 6 and 7 period contain lanthanides and actinides these elements elements of seventh group the sixth group are lanthanides and of seven group actinides but here these are the general criteria of the elements clear you have alkali metals first group elements are called alkali metals second group elements are called alkali earth metals third to 12th are called transition elements and 13 to 17 group 13 to 17 are post transition here we have another type this one sorry up to 16 here the another type is halogen halogens it means 17th group element are called halogens here 17th group elements are called halogens Clear? Whereas, eighteen group elements are noble or inert gases, and you already know about the noble or inert gases, which are unreactive. Clear? Helium, neon, argon, because each atom has a tendency to make electronic configuration like this, to complete or to uh, its outermost shell. Clear with two eight electrons. It means each atom has a tendency to obey either duplicate rule or octet rule to gain its existence and to become a free as noble gases. Clear. Now. bridge elements here bridge elements here lithium lithium and mg beryllium and aluminum bridge element bridge element bridge elements here we have li mg be aluminum boron and here silicon carbon and here only bus these these element these elements are bridge elements clear because some of the properties are 
and the symbol here. Clear? Now these are the bridge elements. Now the properties of the elements. What are the main properties of the elements? Properties. First, atomic size. Second, ionization potential. Third, electron affinity fourth electro negativity fifth non metallic character non metallic Correct. And six metallic character. Here yeah. we have these main five properties which have we have studied here and their causes also. Clear? Yeah. It means this one is the main or important portion of this chapter. Periodic table and periodic properties and variations of the properties. Because this one is the main title of this one, main topic of this one. That's why this one is the main. Here we have learned the definition of these as well as reasons and causes of this. Clear? Atomic size. Atomic size. How we can observe this one? Here we will take third, third period. Here we have any, any one. Two and three. Here, electronic configuration of this one. Electronic configuration here. Sodium is any. Its atomic number is eleven. Electronic configuration is two eight one. It means it has one electron in its outermost shell. Clear? In same way, Mg. If we discuss about the mg, in that case we have mg. There are two electrons in this. Clear? Yeah. And here, if we move along the period from left to right, then we have chlorine here. We have chlorine here. Cl. One, two, and three. Chlorine. Two, eight, and seven. Here, this one has also three cells. Clear? But chlorine has seven electrons in its outermost cell. And here, sodium is the first element of third group, third period. And here, this one is considered as. Because argon is noble gas, that's why we will compare chlorine with respect to this one sodium. Clear? Here, this one sodium has only one electron, and here chlorine has seven electron in its outermost cell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. As we move from left to right. In the period, nuclear charge will increases because 
we have already known number of electrons atomic number is equal to number of electrons is equal to number of protons number of electrons will increase it means nuclear charge proton in nucleus also increases clear it means why we are moving from left to right in the period in that case on increasing on increasing the atomic number nuclear charge and electrons in outer mass cell nuclear charge it means proton here proton here proton this one is any atom this one is mg atom and this one is chlorine atom clear so on moving from left to right in the period nuclear charge will increases as increase in atomic number that's why the force of attraction that's why force of attraction on these electron be increases as is it size of this one begins to shrink and size of the chlorine become smaller than the sodium it means size of the atom b decreases while moving from left to right in the period the conclusion is this size of the atom decreases while moving from left to right in the period here we are discussing along periods when we are moving from left to right in the period in that case atomic size be decreases clear reason is reason is on increasing the nuclear charge and number of cells number of cells remains constant number of cells remains constant here reason here the reason and number of cells the uh, reason we can take nuclear charge nuclear charge now we can erase this one because you know nuclear charge number of cells here how can understand this one in a short way here i am discuss atomic size this one decreases clear reason because increase in increase in nuclear charge increase in nuclear charge clear and number of cells remains same number of cells remains same in this case we have number of cells remains same clear now ionization potential ionization potential is the amount of energy required to remove an electron from outermost cell of an isolated कैसे से क्लियर अमाउंट ऑफ एनर्जी विच इज रिक्वायर्ड टू रिमूव एन इलेक्ट्रॉन फ्रॉम आउटर मोस्ट सेल ऑफ एन आइसोलेटेड गैसेस एटम एंड दिस वन एज नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन आउटर मोस्ट सेल विल इंक्रीज it means ionization potential because in that case the size will decrease nuclear attraction will increase that's why more or more ionization potential be required or energy be required to remove electron from atom it means ionization potential increases it means ionization potential increases clear
बिकॉज इंक्रीज इन न्यूक्लियर चार्ज इंक्रीज इन न्यूक्लियर चार्ज एंड एटोमिक रेडियस एटोमिक रेडियस रिमेन्स एटोमिक रेडियस डिक्रीजेस एटोमिक रेडियस डिक्रीजेस एटोमिक रेडियस डिक्रीजेस नाउ सेकेंड आइनाइजेशन प्रोटेन पोटेंशियल वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड दिस वन विद दिस फॉर एग्जाम्पल एनी विल टेक वन इलेक्ट्रॉन फ्रॉम दिस देन वी हैव टू रिक्वायर्ड एनर्जी एनी विल कन्वर्ट इन टू एनी प्लस इट मीन्स वी कैन ड्रॉ वन इलेक्ट्रॉन फ्रॉम दिस इन दैट केस वी हैव टू रिक्वायर्ड एनर्जी दिस वन एनर्जी इज कॉल्ड एनर्जी पोटेंशियल क्लियर एंड दिस वन एनर्जी इन पोटेंशियल एनर्जी we increases while moving from left to right in the period now and the reason reason is increase in nuclear charge decrease in atomic radius here this one electron affinity electron affinity means amount of energy amount of energy release amount of energy is when an atom in gaseous state accept an electron to form an ion clear it is equal to the amount of energy it is when an atom in gaseous state accept an electron and to form an ion it means in same way here we have the example of this cl plus 1e we get cl minus clear this one is the example of electron affinity we can understand this one here electron affinity electron affinity means it is difficult to add electron while moving from left to right in that case this one is also increases electron affinity is also increases on moving from left to right in the period this one is the same reason here this one is the same reason increase because increase in nuclear charge atomic radius decreases then now next one electronegativity electronegativity means tendency electronegativity means tendency of an atom to attract electrons to itself when it combined in a compound with other atom electron negativity it means tendency of an atom to attract electrons to itself when it is in combined state in a compound clear here the example is here the example is hcl here the example is hcl hcl size of cl become bigger than h in this case because electron electron negativity of chlorine is higher than hydrogen here this one is the important example of electron negativity given hydrogen and this one this one is polar compound when hydrogen combined with cl in that case electron pair is shifted towards cl with respect to h because 
इलेक्ट्रोनेगेटिविटी ऑफ क्लोरीन इज ग्रेटर देन हेयर एच क्लियर तो दीज थ्री आर द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉपर्टीज हेयर इट मीन्स इलेक्ट्रोनेगेटिविटी इज ऑल्सो इंक्रीजेस वाइल मूविंग फ्रॉम लेफ्ट टू राइट इन दीरियड क्लियर इट इज बिकॉज ऑफ इंक्रीज इट इज बिकॉज ऑफ इंक्रीज इन न्यूक्लियर चार्ज एंड डिक्रीज ऑफ एटोमिक रेडियस डिक्रीज ऑफ एटोमिक रेडियस ना नॉन मेटेलिक करेक्टर नॉन हाउ हाउ यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड नॉन मेटेलिक करेक्टर नॉन मेटेलिक करेक्टर मीन्स टेंडेंसी ऑफ एन एटम टू गेन दी इलेक्ट्रॉन टेंडेंसी ऑफ एन एटम टू गेन इलेक्ट्रॉन वाइल वी आर मूविंग फ्रॉम लेफ्ट टू राइट इन दीरियड इन दैट इज टेंडेंसी ऑफ एन एटम टू गेन द इलेक्ट्रॉन भी इंक्रीजेस क्लोरिन दिस वन इज मोर इलेक्ट्रोनेगेटिव बिकॉज दिस वन एक्सेप्ट द इलेक्ट्रॉन हेयर तो इट मीन्स नॉन मेटली करेक्टर टेंडेंसी ऑफ एटम टू गेन इलेक्ट्रॉन टू गेन इलेक्ट्रॉन तो दिस वन टेंडेंसी और नॉनली नॉन मेटली करेक्टर वी इज ऑल्सो इंक्रीजेस दिस वन इज ऑल्सो इंक्रीजेस वाई इज मूविंग फ्रॉम लेफ्ट टू राइट इन द पीरियड क्लियर रीजन इज इंक्रीज इन न्यूक्लियर चार्ज इंक्रीज इन न्यूक्लियर चार्ज एंड एटोमिक रेडियस भी डिक्रीजेस क्लियर नाउ द लास्ट वन मेडली करेक्टर मेडली करेक्टर मीन्स की टेंडेंसी ऑफ एन एटम टू लूज इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड फॉर्म पॉजिटिव आइन टेंडेंसी ऑफ एन एटम टू लूज इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड फॉर्म पॉजिटिव आइन दिस वन इज मेटेलिक करेक्टर क्लियर एंड वेन वी आर मूविंग फ्रॉम लेफ्ट टू राइट इन दीरियड इन दैट इज दिस वन प्रॉपर्टी भी डिक्रीजेस दिस वन प्रॉपर्टी भी डिक्रीजेस क्लियर एंड द रीजन आर सेम द रीजन इज सेम नहीं है द रीजन इज इफ टेंडेंसी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन इफ टेंडेंसी ऑफ लूजिंग द इलेक्ट्रॉन भी इंक्रीजेस इट मीन्स इन दैट केस न्यूक्लियर चार्जेस ऑफ इंक्रीज इन दैट केस बट क्या फोर्स ऑफ प्रोटेक्शन भी डिक्रीजेस फोर्स ऑफ प्रोटेक्शन भी डिक्रीजेस क्लियर तो दिस वन इज ऑल्सो दिस वन इज डिक्रीजेस इट मीन्स in six properties first and last we decreases while moving from left to right in the period whereas the remaining four which are in between these be increases and here while moving in the moving down in the group in that case this one will increase this one will increase and these all which are increase convert into decreases it means while moving down in the group these properties which are decreasing on moving from left to right in the period be increases while moving down in the group and the properties which increases while moving from left to right in the period decreases while moving down in the group it means this one is just opposite to this clear while we are moving down in the group so this one is all about the first chapter which is the most important part of this this trend how you can understand this one please comment me thank you for watching thanks for watching